hi everyone and welcome back and this is the module 02 and in this first video we are going to talk about api gateway so aws api gateway is a fully managed service it's like a managed service that makes it easy for developers to create publish maintain monitor and secure apis at a scale okay that means you will be able api gateway will help us to create apis and also now it has a support for websocket apis also so api gateway handles all the tasks involved in accepting and processing up to the hundred or thousand concurrent api calls including the traffic management cross origin handling authentication access control monitoring everything i mean you can think of any external api gateway like app Easy from google or kong or any other api gateway so all kind of features like rate limiting uh, filtering all these things api gateway is able to manage right so what api gateway how api gateway works with lambda api gateway is helping us to expose uh, the rest apis right and the lambda is will have a code to execute i mean whenever you are hitting http get put post there will be a respective lambda which will take care of those tasks okay so api gateway can have a communication with all different services i mean we are talking about lambda here aws lambda function it can talk to the endpoint on aws ec2 or any other aws services okay so let's talk about how this uh, api gateway works like here we have api gateway this is all aws environment this is the external user which is going to talk to our api gateway okay now api gateway will decide okay let's divert the traffic http get this particular request here okay i have another request here and some another request i will be divert, diverting here and they may be talking to dynamo i mean there can be another interface like dynamo is, is storing your database it's no sql database or you can also have uh, rds you can talk to rds you can talk to so all the other components are here so lambda is just like a starting interface now you can also trigger uh, some process one event to sqs sns you can publish something to sns topic all these things are there right once you have a lambda lambda is nothing but a node.js code and aws provide aws sdks so here if you talk about aws sdks aws provide all these sdks using which here if i'm writing a node.js code i will use aws sdk and i can talk to any other external service if my lambda is having that particular role i will have aws sdk i will talk to uh, dynamo dynamodb sns sqs and all these things lambda is nothing but a node.js code okay node.js code aws sdk is a library you create the instance of it and start calling all these different services now so like if this is registered as a user http get okay similarly this can be registered as http post user okay this is http get users which is returning us all the users in the dynamo and this can be http put and you are also passing some id so the this is following the rest api guidelines you just have to write the rest apis the mapping on the api gateway and then for http get you will integrate this particular http request to the lambda that is integration part okay api gateway has all the different features it also provides the the websocket apis like you can you can create a websocket server you can build a real-time two-way communication application such as chat app streaming dashboards with websocket apis on the api gateway okay you will have like uh, cognito if i talk about cognito here this is cognito user pool if you want some authentication authorization then api gateway can talk to cognito and there you can see okay i want to allow this particular user to talk to this lambda or not you can also configure your own custom node.js services which will do this authentication authorization like i have written one custom lambda this is authorized lambda authorizer means where you have to decide the authentication part and this will talk to your external authentication provider 
if this says okay allow this user to talk to the service then only this communication will happen so you can configure authorizer lambda also if you are not using aws user cognito pool for that okay so this is just a basic introduction uh, how api gateway works and what all different components that it can have a communication with okay uh, thanks everyone